did Parliament give Matthias Simpuga 500 million as a service award, Mr. Bore? Yes, with no apologies at all. Saint Nzirinze. Nzirinze, that quote, no, but then is the first installment. It is not true when they are not telling the truth that he did not, he is not telling the truth that he, he, he has not got the money. And that's why the other commissioners have decided to keep quiet. You have not had a foyer child, the ones from the NRM, mm. the, the one from FDC. You have not had them saying we did not get all this. How are you everyone? As time goes by, we are starting to get the actual information which happened between Matthias Simpuga and Anita Anita Mung. We all know there is a conundrum where Matthias Simpuga got the 500 million. And at a certain radio interview, and to be specific, the CBS interview, Matthias Simpuga agreed that he was indeed in the meeting which appropriated himself the 500 million but he went on to say that he has not he has not yet received the money and to my surprise the spokesperson of parliament Chris Obori when he was being interviewed by NTV he came out to say that actually Matthew Simpuga received the money and in this episode I've come to talk about the hypocrisy of Matthew Simpuga why Matthew Simpuga came out to lie to the public that he has not yet received the money he agreed that he accepted the money, but the money was still in transit. Yet, the spokesperson of the Parliamentary Commission, Chris Obori, came out to say that they in all indeed received the money. Okay? But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube. Type in Sula Mawagari. There's a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to the political prisoner, Olivia Rutaya, who has been in incarceration for more than three years. So we all know that my, it, it, Bob Wayne has gated this deputy president Matthias Simpuga for having been among the people who operated themselves the 500 and 400 million respectively and he called him to resign from the commission. When Puga came out to rebut, he said a lot of things and among the things he talked about was he, he accepted that indeed was in the, in the meeting which made him get the 500 million but he went on to say that he has not yet received the money that the money was in transit and he was going to get the first money in this quarter but news reaching us the spokesperson of the parliamentary commission has come out to say that they indeed received the money which means that Impuga is lying before i talk i expound on this more let me first give you the tape when matthias simpuga is accepting that he was indeed in the meeting which gave him the money, but he has not received it and that he was waiting for the money. Here is the tape. Saint Nzirinze. Nzirinze, that quote, but then is the first installment. Tonafuna. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. Oh, I'm so that is Matthias Simpuga. Earlier today, when Chris Obore was on NTV, he indeed came out to say that the commissioners who get who uh, got money and that he doesn't have any apology to make for the commissioners to get money. And this refutes the claims of Matthias Simpuga, which makes Matthias Simpuga criminal and hypocritical. And I pity those people coming out to defend him that because he's a wage tea. As we go on, I keep on telling people that lies move fast. The truth move, moves slowly, but it will reach before the lies. During a, 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 a political pundit show on NTV, 
Christian Bore came out to reveal that actually Matthias Simpuga already received their money because this was a deal which was done in 2022. You cannot tell me that a deal which was done in 2022, you are still waiting for the money in 2024. Here is the confirmation when Christian Bore was, say, was affirming this. Here is the tape. Uh, gentlemen, I want us to change gears now. Uh, the issue of the service award for the right honorable Matthias Simpuga of 500 million did Parliament give Matthias Mpuga 500 million as a service award, Mr. Bore? Yes, with no apologies at all. Yes, and not Matthias Mpuga, the commissioners. And I don't commission. know why you're talking about Matthias Mpuga. Because that uh, has come out. Why? It has been, he had, has led we to gave, his party we to gave, tell him we to... We gave to the commissioners of parliament. How much? And by law, we are entitled to give. And this matter was in 2022. So, we, and we need to hold Mpuga because he, he could be telling lies that he has not got the money. The information I have mm. is that when they made this award, parliament, government at that time did not have ready cash. They actually went to the Parliamentary Commission and borrowed from the Parliamentary actually, Commission. Actually, the Speaker wrote a letter yes. authorizing the yes. Parliamentary circle, circle to give the, the money in circle. advance. They, they borrowed from the, the, yeah. the so Parliamentary So it's a joint thought visa. Yeah, yeah. So it is not true when they are not telling the truth that he did not, he is not telling the truth that he, he, did, he has not got the money. And that's why mm. the other commissioners have decided to keep quiet. You have not had a foyer chan, the ones from the NRM. Mm. The, the one from FDC, you have not heard them saying we did, we did not get all this. So that is Chris Obore. You clearly see that Matthew Simpuka is holding on to grasses. And for me, at first, when I saw Bob Wayne coming out hard on Puga, at first I felt like, mm, why is Bob Wayne coming out on his deputy president? But actually, as we are moving forward, we see that Bob Wayne took the right position. Bob Wayne took the right pose when he came out to call on Puga for the dirty money. And when Mpuga came out to rebuttal, he said that he was in the meeting, he accepted, uh, he accepted the money, but went on to say that he has not received the first budget. And I think the reason as to why he's saying this, he's trying to cool the tempers down, to say that, look, I accepted the money, but I have not yet received it, though I'm ready to receive it, so that people can not get a hard stand on him. But it shows the hypocrisy of Matthias in Puga. It continues to reveal the dirt in Matthias Spuga's court. Okay? It continues to reveal because that is the day when Jacob Bologna just died, I think two months after Jacob's death. It was one month after Zake was, was just out of the parliamentary commission. You clearly see that that hand hands, which was done by, by Matthias Simpuga, and we are getting to know that he is even coming out to lie that he has not received the money. Yet the Parliamentary Commission spokesperson, Christian Boris, is coming out to affirm that they indeed received the money a long time ago. So you clearly see that Bobby Wayne is coming out on top. And I keep on telling people that. People sometimes come out to say that Bobby Wayne is there by mistake. No person achieves that success by mistake. And on top of that, is able to retain that success for a very long period of time as a successful artist and now as a, a good politician who is cutting his teeth in the body politic of a country. Sometimes even me, Bob Wayne says uh, some things which I take long to comprehend, but at the end of the day, I realize how smart this guy is. By Bobby Wayne coming out to casket his deputy president in Uganda, it will show, lead by example that even other deputy president in other parts of the country want to do the same. So you clearly see that Matthias Simpuga is lying. And when you lie, sometimes you give another, another lie to cover the lie. Then you give another lie to cover the lie. Matthew Simpuga lied that he, didn't, he accepted the money but he has not yet received the money. And the Parliamentary Commission spokesperson Christopher is coming out to say that they indeed received the money. So who is deceiving who? You clearly see that that of Matthew Simpuga is in public. And since you are in a hearing election, it will, be, it will have a great effect on Matthew Simpuga's political discourse.
of course that's my opinion drop me a comment by commenting about this thank you very much for listening in if this is your first time on this YouTube channel i implore you to subscribe like and comment so that i can be motivated to do more of such videos i'll see you on another one peace